Okay, so I think we're ready to begin again. <laughs> Hopefully everyone had a chance to get a cup of coffee. Sounds like it, based off the energy in the room right now. So. Our next talk uh, is going to be about carbon nanotubes. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Sumiak, and today I will be presenting my work on transparent electronics using aligned thermal nanotubes. Here are the topics of my talk. I first introduce a brief motivation to study transparent electronics, then move on to our experimental result. As a first section of my experimental part, I will introduce our novel method to fabricate transparent thin-film transistors using a line and a tube. This part is the biggest innovation in our work. Then we move on to showing the performance of GLTTFTs on rigid substrate and flexible substrate, and further show the integration of TTFTs including logic gate and LED control. <coughs> So here is the motivation. Why do we study transparent electronics? Why do we work on transparent electronics? Let's go into the background. The transmittance of these devices are about 85% in visible light regimes. And when we zoom in this area, we can see several bunch of devices. This is the source, this is the drain, and this is the channel. And here is the zoom in of the channel part. You can see aligned nanotubes bridging between the source and the drain. What's notable is the nanotubes are still aligned even after the complete fabrication as we expected. Then we characterize the devices and shown here are the typical transistor measurement. To compare the performance of our devices with other people's devices, we extracted a metric called the mobility meaning how fast uh, the carrier can move through the channel using a capacitance model developed previously. In this model, usually, not, oh, basically the nanotube is modeled as an array of cylinders on a dielectric, and this is the equation used to calculate the capacitance. And using this equation, we extracted the mobility, and the mobility is plotted as a function of channel length here, and what's notable is we achieved the maximum mobility of 1300 <coughs> centimeters per voltage second. Comparing this mobility to existing TTFTs, our mobility is outstanding. Shown here is the plot of mobility. Um, with plot of mobility for devices, uh, representative devices presented in each year, and in the oxidonal wire, was the highest TTF, was the device with the highest mobilities so far. But the mobility of our aligned nanotube devices is twice or more than double of the mobility of indium oxide nanowires. This is partially due to the intrinsic high mobility of carbon nanotube, but this is also due to our novel contact management method, where we used thin layer of gold between ITO and carbon nanotube to form good contact. Conventionally, people have been using only ITO as a contact, but what we found is by putting thin, very thin layer of gold between this ITO and carbon nanotube, we can form better contact between the source drain electrode and the contact. It's shown here, as you can see, the red curve, which, present, um, which corresponded to the case when we used gold ITO contact, the current is about 100 micron at one volt. On the other hand, when we use the ITO, the current is about 150 to 100 nanoampere. So by using gold ITO contact, we can increase the current density by a factor of 1,000. And also we can see that when we use the gold ITO contact, the IVDS curve is linear, meaning the contact is rather ohmic. While when we used ITO, it shows um, short key barrier behavior. This is a reasonable consequence, judging from the band, um, band alignment of the ITO and the carbon nanotube, and then the gold and the carbon nanotube. Gold has higher work function than ITO, 
so it can form more transparent contact to the carbon nanotube balance band. And using the same method, we have fabricated the devices on flexible substrate. So here is a PET substrate, and we have a bunch of devices on this substrate. We characterize the devices under bending. And shown here is the transistor curve, a transistor measurement of, the, of a device under the different bending angle of the substrate. You can see that the device shows negligible change in their performance under bending. We, can, we, also, we were also able to operate that, that device as a transistor on a bent substrate. When we did this measurement, the substrate was bent by 90 degrees. And using these TTFTs, we have further integrated them to demonstrate the capability of our TTFT to create circuits and display circuits. First thing we did is we made a simple logic gate, which is an inverter. Shown, shown here is the circuit diagram where we have two transistors connected and one transistor is used as a resistor. <coughs> shown on the right side is the inverter operation of this device, which shows successful operation of the device as an inverter. The performance of this inverter is a little bit bad. The gain is about 0.4. But this can be easily improved by using better dielectrics. And lastly, we have further shown that our TTFT can be used to control LED. This is the simplest circuit used in the display where we have a transistor connected to a LED. By controlling the gate voltage applied to this transistor, we can change the light, in, light output from the LED. And shown here is the plot of the current through this LED as a function of this gate voltage. And shown here is the light intensity coming from this LED as a function of this gate voltage. As you can see here, we can modulate the light intensity of the LED by controlling this gate voltage. And it's also shown here. These are the optical images of the LED under different gate voltage. And you can clearly see that the light intensity from the LED was modulated by changing the gate voltage to the transistor. This is a significant step forward to real <coughs> transparent display, and this is the first demonstration. The work here is reported in ACS Nano, and here's the summary of my work. We have developed low temperature process to create TTFTs and achieve the highest mobility among the existing TTFTs. We also demonstrated flexible TTFTs and also transparent logic gate and LED control. Because of this achievement, um, a number of scientific and public media reported our works, <coughs> including two TV programs shown here. And also USC <coughs> School reported our work too. 